would be Anthony Edwards. Think of Anthony Edwards, his marketability. He's somebody who, if he wins a championship, you're talking about, can he reach for the mantle of being in the GOAT conversation for the two guards or just a GOAT conversation, period? Because he did one at the age of 22 where Jordan got his first one at, what, 27-ish, 28? Um, LeBron got his around the same time. D. Wade was one of the few people that who had like the star, maybe goat ability, who got his young, but he just couldn't maintain it just because of the knee. But you have A.E. who's dunking on players at 22. He get one. You also had. Let me bring that back. You also had Kobe, but Kobe wasn't the man on the team yet. He was still getting upstaged by Shaq until Kobe turned. But darn near 30 and it's like 12th to 13th year when he got his first one on his own. But if you get A.E., who will be outright the man on the team if he gets it. Colin the Towns is a nice sidekick. You got Goldberg's a nice big man. But A.E. get one right now with the things that he's doing. He's dunking on players. He talks shit. And that's, you know, that's us. We like people who talk shit. And who could back it up? He could talk shit. He could back it up. Um, he scores the ball at the highest level. And he's young enough to get it. And he could do it in a city who hasn't won a championship ever, hasn't been to a conference championship ever. So for him to turn around that whole city, you could market him close to how Michael Jordan was marketed in that Chicago kind of, you know, style of a team that really didn't do anything before who's coming up and have years to come will be great. Now, can you get one, two? Now, after you get the one, oh, shit, he got one at 22. If you get one at 23, now we're like, damn, 24, 25, we get at least one in those couple of years. So now we're looking at somebody that's really big who can change the game. And, and now we're, we're getting some air, Anthony Edwards. So also, when I'm, I'm going to talk about this, I could have named other people. James Harden, I just think he's third fiddle now. It don't matter whatever the hell he does right now. That championship would be null or void for him. Um, CP3 is old. LeBron, when they come to LeBron getting another championship, that would be great. But I think when people already have their mind made up in that situation between him and Jordan, if you like LeBron, you like LeBron, you like Jordan, you like Jordan. There's nothing that LeBron could do at this point that you'd be like, oh, that's going to put him over Jordan. It's just nothing. In people's minds, they they love their player here and there. And that's who they're going to stick with. Um, I like the Joker just because it puts him in the realm of um, the Shaq and Hakeem Elijah one conversation. So it just puts him into a stratosphere that that nobody else could really be in. So that's why I think it will benefit him a lot. But I won't think his marketability just sucks. But when you put him in the stratosphere of, of pantheon of greatness, I think it will benefit him. Probably third or fourth on that list, along with Giannis. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.